My name is Johnny, the tattoo terrorist of Snarrows. I'm a professional MMA fighter, kickboxing and boxing instructor. My professional fighting record is 5 0, oh, all coming by the way of TKO in the first round. I'm an explosive fighter. When I hit you, I throw it to hurt you. Uh, I remember a few years back that Ultimate Fighter show. I seen them doing the, what they do, and I was like, I can do that. And you know, years and years of training, and now I'm fighting. Uh, honestly, I do it for my family, you know, for my friends. You know, I wasn't always the greatest person back when when I was younger. You know, I went through my my difficult time. I'm trying to make up on make make up for that now. You know, by having you know something for my family and friends to talk about, so they can remember me as a professional MMA fighter that goes into cage and leaves it all out there than just the punk ass kid I used to be before. First, to start it off, I have a wonderful 45 to an hour minute drive from Corona to Lake Forest, sometimes to Costa Mesa. Today it was Costa Mesa, get my uh, strength and conditioning on at InnovativeResults.com. After that, we're off to Lightning MMA, get punched in the face, get kicked in the legs a lot. From here, I got about two, three hours to hang out. Then I teach the kids at LA Boxing Lake Forest. Then I come back to Lightning MMA in Lake Forest and get my jujitsu on and then I'm home by 10 o'clock, 10.30 at night, daily. I have from four year olds all the way up to 15 and I have a lot of people sparring, you know. I like to spar so I like to let them spar, you know. What's good about working with kids is that they pick it up so well, you know, so you want to show them the right way, you know. I learned all my stuff through Joker, real good teacher, you know, so I try to show them the way he showed me, you know, I'm bully proofing those kids, you know, so they don't get picked on. There was a time in my life where I got picked on a lot and it probably made me what I am today, you know, and I would hate for my kid to go through the same thing. I didn't really know what I was getting into, but, you know, practice makes perfect. So now, you know, I have about 15 to 20 kids, you know, that I train. A lot of them are getting really, really, really good, you know, really, really good. And that's, that's awesome, man, to see a kid come in and not really know what he's doing to go. And then a few months later, he's in there banging. I just signed a five fight contract with King of the Cage. And my next fight is on April 26th, San Manuel Indian Casino, Highland, California. Um, fighting some cat named Dennis Kong. You know, I hear he's a brawler. I'm expecting a stand-up fight, which I always try to, a lot of people say that, you know, but then they end up trying to take me down, you know, so, you know, we, we're training, you know, we're training everything, you know, get prepared for anywhere he wants to take it. My prediction for the fight is I'm going to go in there and destroy, you know. I'm going there to win, but win or lose, I'm going to go in there to fight my heart out. Ah, my tattoos, man. My left side of my upper body is mainly all Aztec, you know, Aztec and Mayan. My brother-in-law, Big Gus. My good friend, Alan Padilla. They started on me, you know. First, it was going to be just a sleeve. And then we got crazy with it. <laughs> then we started going from Aztec. We got into religion. Threw a little bit of fighting in here, you know. I got my, my, my other good friend, Antonio Mejia. Did my inside Joker tattoo. My good friend Rich Reels at Distinctive Inc. and Jason Medina at Dedicated Tattoo in Temecula, you know, hooking me up. My goal is to live up to that tattoo terror name, you know, I want to be blasted. Blasted, blasted. So tattoo me, guys. <laughs> and um, I'll do the rest, you know. When I get in that cage, I'm there to terrorize.